Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are touring my finished Towncore Plaza. If you're new to my channel, first I want to say welcome over here. We've actually been working on a town vibe throughout my plaza and peaceful meadow on previous videos and live streams. Today's tour was actually supposed to be a speed build, but with the recent Disney Dreamlight Valley update, I have been crashing on this game way more often than usual. Not only did my footage get messed up each time that I crashed, but also I've had issues with items just completely vanishing for no reason, and that was also becoming an issue for this video today. Today. So with all that being said, it's going to be a tour and I still hope that it brings you some inspiration. So to start our tour today, we will be at the entry of my plaza and I really wanted the theme of this to be structured and also town core related. I think my favorite part of this plaza build today is the park entrance kind of covering the castle in the distance. I just feel like this really adds such a nice town core element, but also I have this little L shape that I've made with the Monsters Inc. apartment and the bakery. Now I have tested so many town core layouts on my channel, so feel free to go check out my Disney Dream My Valley playlist just in case you want to get some other layout inspiration. Maybe you would like to combine ideas together, but this one is definitely one of my favorites I've done in some time. I think the reason I love this layout so much too is because it's really easy to walk through and it's fully functional. For this location over here next to Remy's in the gazebo, I went for a small farmer's market sort of vibe. I think that this was such a great filler for the location just because when I was trying to do a centerpiece, it looked like I was trying to make it structured with the entrance to my plaza, but this area is kind of off-centered, so I felt like this was a really great solution for this spot. Now, originally I had a really clustered market area over here, but somebody reached out to me asking for something a little bit more open so I really wanted to try to deliver a layout that was not as cluttered so on the left side of this we have it open and it's a nice casual sitting area and then on the right side that's where we have our tall city sort of vibes. I feel like this layout is a great option for somebody who doesn't want all their buildings in one location maybe you want to spread them out so you can do different little themed areas so that's what I really tried to accomplish with today's plaza layout is something that is a little bit more open that way you can have really nice decorated areas. Now another thing Thing that I love about this plaza layout is the fact that I was able to actually squeeze in this little area over here and this is where I let my natural resources spawn. Many people have reached out to me asking how do I get my natural resources to spawn on builds like this because obviously there's pavement everywhere and it's super decorated. And I've done this on many of my builds but allowing a dedicated area that's not decorated but also slightly hidden is a great way to make sure you're still getting these resources but you have a nicely decorated build. For the next spot in our plaza, we have our Scrooge shop over here and I did a structured centerpiece using the new hedge items that are in the premium shop right now. I really like this spot because I have the Daisy Boutique over here and Scrooge kind of next to each other so all of your main shopping is done in one location. This is also where I placed my ancient machine to kind of get it hidden and out of the way so you don't see it when you immediately go to the plaza. But also I put my storage chest over here so I can kind of do all of my shopping in one spot and then obviously unload any resources in to that chest. For the next spot on my plaza, it is Remy's shop, and this is one of my favorite builds for Remy I think I have done in quite some time. Now, obviously, when I do all these different theme builds and plaza styles, this is to help inspire y'all as a community, but this is one of those builds that I definitely want to recreate and move on to my official plaza layout in the future. I really wanted Remy's to feel super fancy, so we have this little carpet entry going on, and then I framed it in with different flowers and bushes, and then I'm also using the Ratatouille Time Bendy craftable item in front of the entry. And since my space was limited, I did a little private dining area on the right side of Remy's, but I would love to actually put this in like its own dedicated spot so I could kind of expand on the idea a little bit more, maybe in a future video. Not only do I think that this suits my theme really nicely in today's video, but I think that this kind of style would also work really lovely on a more elegant core plaza. As we near the end of this tour, I did want to talk about my future plans for my next plaza theme, and I'm leaning towards something probably a little bit more elegant style, but of course, if there's any other ideas you would love to share or see me create on the channel, definitely leave a comment in the comment section below. This feedback definitely helps me out when I'm planning new content for the channel. Anyways, like usual, before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. I hope that today's plaza tour brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day. I'll see you next video.